what is up guys Northside side here uh, welcome to my channel um, first of all thank you all for the support on the previous videos I really appreciate it uh, really really awesome of you guys I think we're uh, tonight 8,000 subs uh, so thank you very much and um, you know everybody who's reaching out and you know asking stuff well here it is <coughs> here's the build uh, final build uh, build you do not need <laughs> I'm joking um, I'm you know You'll see what I mean when we start. Um, so um, I'm gonna try not to make this too long of a video. I know I always say that, but I really mean it this time. So I'm gonna try to keep it as short uh, as possible and to cover everything, not going too much into uh, some deeper stuff. You know, um, if you got any questions, you can leave it in the comment section or, sh or just shoot me an email. I'll reply with uh, a pleasure. So uh, let's just uh, jump straight to it. Uh, here's here's the tune. Um, okay. Here's the deal. This is the old setup, um, charisma, full charisma and strike build. Um, you know, uh, this build relies on common advantage bonus and damage, so uh, it's all about that. And um, uh, you know, for people who didn't watch my mod uh, previous build videos, 14 and pre-build, uh, this is it. Uh, this is pretty much. You don't see anything new here except, the, of course, the, the, the new weapons. And maybe a new artifact and some pants and that's it. Um, we are, I mean, okay, I'm gonna go from left to right. Um, everything on the left side, um, you can see it's a Barovian helmet and uh, also I'm using Hills of Fury. If you bring us full of the bear combo still, until they come up with something better uh, that's gonna you know, outdo this three percent damage uh, from the from the pieces from the gear itself. Uh, we're, we're stuck with this, fine by me. Um, there is nothing new in this mod that was added, uh, nothing new on the table, so except maybe, I don't know, let me see, Gallant Armor. I mean, this helmet was kind of promising, but, uh, but you see, when you kill an enemy, your damage increased 5%. Awesome. For 5 seconds, really? What? Well, I mean, come on. And then we got a cooldown, so yeah, I'm really not even going to go with it. I mean, if they put it a little bit differently, maybe I would use it, but still getting that, that equipment is pain in the ass, so... Uh, uh, about that another time, yeah. Um, okay, so um, like I said, blade lore helmet. Everything on the left side reinforced with plus one power kits. Um, utility slots. Uh, I'm just gonna cover that also. A Dragon Horde Quartermaster 14s. Uh, I think I have one shiny coin. Yeah, I do. So for some extra gold. And uh, you know, I would advise everybody to use Dark Enchants or something like that with movement. Uh, however, I like to refine. So yeah, you know. I'll be slower, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, uh, this is a assault helm. Everything that that's on me now that you can see is kind of fused to give me these stats here with the companion gift. Uh, it gives, uh, you know, there's a sweet spot I like over 100k power. Critical strike is where it's supposed to be. Uh, some extra armor pen and recovery. Armor pen is around 86 point something if I'm doing the regular content. If I'm doing Castle Revolve, which is really rare, um, then I up my armor pen to 100, and that's it. Um, okay, uh, defense enchantments are all Brutals. Um, now, I gotta explain this. I just switched from Radiance to Brutals to balance a little bit, maintain that HP, because my HP is more than enough um, when I turn, turn on the uh, Guild Boon, and so my auras are still hitting really, really high. And... Um, um, that's the only thing I can explain for now, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Hour of Courage, so we'll see. So defense slots, uh, all, all brutal all around. Um, armor enchantment, uh, Umbrella Bark Shield, you can use Negation, you can use Lesser Soul for it doesn't matter really. Uh, I just like this Bark Shield combination, so maybe I can avoid being one-shotted, or <laughs> which, you know, if you're going to die, you're dead. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And as I said, like... Uh, Maybe for the overload slots, just grab Black Ice and Lethal and some Undead Slayers or stuff like that. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so, still sticking with uh, combo with Hills of Fury, Fear Ringers, Soul Gear, Good Gear. And uh, until they come up with something better, I'm gonna keep using this. Same goes for the right side, Neck, Rings, Waist. Um, good old Demogorgon set. Again, nothing is offered. Fine by me, save me some money. As you can see, I have all Black Ice enchantments in offense slots. Um, people were asking me why. Well, I'm squeezing a little bit more power. It's all 
you know, matter of perspective. Uh, also recovery. You don't need cooldowns in party. Yeah, I don't. I don't always play in the party. I play alone also, you know. So, um, yeah, uh, all the enchants in offense slots are black ices. Everything on the right side, you can see rings, neck, and waist are reinforced with uh, new action point gain kits. Uh, they're only giving 10 per, but still, you know, that's all we got. Uh, of course, Ring of the Shadow Stalker, you can combine it. If you got a plus 5 and plus 4, combine it together. Even plus 3, plus 4. I like to use uh, Undead Slayer because <clears throat> most of the stuff we still kill is undead, more, more or less. Uh, other than that, you can just go Raid Ring or, or Grey Striker. I don't know. It's all up to you guys. Um, uh, pants and shirts I showed, I still don't have access to the skirmish and I didn't want to wait two weeks to upload this video. So I'm using new adamantine trousers and it's plus one. Uh, 100 movement for each enemy I'm engaged in battle. Uh, power crit defense and the old shirt for now. So uh, when I get the Marcus Space Trial paints, pants and uh, shirt, uh, then then I will have 1.5k power for 10 seconds and some life steal. Uh, I think it's that, yeah. So this is it. For, that's it for the gear. Um, now um, about the weapons, I gotta uh, take a minute or two or longer to explain this. Uh, this is a lot of people are asking. Uh, just now, got two guys are were asking me, is it worth it to get the plus ones or? Well, uh, it's all again matter of perspective. They kind of dicked us over. Uh, these weapons are extremely expensive, so I kind of went overboard and got them. But that's only me, you know. Uh, for this content, this Mickey Mouse content we have, you can pretty much use uh, all primals. Uh, but uh, what I would advise, maybe if you cannot afford, if you're on a budget, um, you could just uh, basically, I don't know, uh, you would be do with uh, with with this this uh, Titan Steel Claymore. Uh, it comes in plus one versions. It's not that expensive, and the base damage uh, on it is much more higher than uh, primal ones. You know. So um, th there's that. If you if you look at the primal weapons, I mean I can understand bearing primal weapons, you see. Uh, but at least we, they could have given us option to exalt sunset and adjust the damage, whatever. Um, you know, some people are saying I can't really tell you what to do in this situation, but I would just go with uh, at least at least some titan steel. You know, I know a few whiffs, my friends. Uh, Almog, I think, is using Titan Steel weapons, and he's okay with it. Now you can see the damage difference, base damage, which is really important. That's why I'm using it. Um, it's 430 base damage more. Uh, in the regular version of uh, Stronghold weapons, which is this, uh, the base damage is 73 less than plus one version. Uh, I, like I said, I went a little bit overboard and, you know, got offhand and mayhand. Thanks, sticks. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, uh, it's all up to you guys. The weapons are really awesome. Uh, 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 one more thing, people are leaving me comments and telling me, "Hey, I'm gonna wait for mod 16." Well, that's okay, you know. But if they, you know, they, there will be maybe plus two, plus three weapons. I don't know. Professions. So that's only my my point of view, you know. Uh, what if the content armor and weapons, you know, be be lousier than than the professional ones? I don't know. I can only guess until and speculate until after the new year when I get the new mod on preview. So until then, at least I can maybe save some money for the people who are behind and or uh, are on consoles. Of course, you guys have the best information, so at least from us, from PCs. Um, so weapons are awesome. Um, I'm not going to go into that. They're really expensive. This set is like, I don't know, 12 million. Um, then again, like I said, you can use the regular ones if you have them from before, get a friend to craft it, or and maybe just get a Titan Steel, or stick with the Primals. I mean, you know, what? In two weeks we will have this one one skirmish, which is a, again Mickey Mouse. I can finish it in five minutes alone, so it's all up to you. But Stronghold Unity, people I'm running with, it's awesome, the damage is awesome, and you can see we're clipping the time on the runs, but it's all old content, you know, so we'll see. You know, like I said, this is not the first time they, uh, you know, <clears throat> implemented something that's totally for some next mod, you know. You know, I mean, whatever. Like I said in some of my videos, just give us something to kill, guys. What the hell? Now, I know you're watching, you know, I know a few of you. The dev, two devs, and, and, and 
some others. So yeah, not no hard feelings, but you know. Uh, as I said, this is totally overkill. This weapon, so um, it, I mean, I like to, sh you know, I li I'm a gear freak, so don't don't mind me. Anyway, that's all I can say about the weapons. They're awesome, um, and uh, artifact powers, red illumination, and common advantage bonus, which I flip flop sometimes to companion influence stuff like that. Um, old, uh, I got sure strike here, yeah, and that's it about the artifacts. Uh, I can only say that this is, some, this is actually from the event, I just wanted to show you this, because it has power, armor, pen, and common advantage bonus. Um, it's the same, same stats as Castle Sphere, look. Yeah. Um, so, usually I use something else with the hit points, Horn of Valhalla, or I don't know, Sigil, or whatever, you know. <laughs> whatever. But, you know, the, about when I'm running solo, it's usually this, or the Cantor. Of essence, but uh, maybe uh, if I'm getting wheeled by somebody in the party, I just use the counter on the AoE and switch to Soul Side Crystal. So I switch artifacts a lot, yeah. I do. <clears throat> so this is all I can say about the gear. You can see the stats here. Uh, Bonings are not proc'd. I did use some consumables, but that's, that's what I'm always using. So uh, you can see damage dealt and stuff. I will show you when we hit the dummies, yeah. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go uh, to powers. Let's go from left to right. Uh, powers, I'm gonna be very short here. Crescendo, slam as dailies. Um, recharge speed is really high, so I like to uh, I like to use it. Um, Daring shout, uh, Bell fury, hidden daggers. Uh, I'm running more now with uh, with Bell fury uh, with daring shout. Pardon me. I need to have target marked all targets that I'm hitting. Uh, so, but the tank I'm running with, um, people I'm running with, they're using, uh, they're marking everything, just, so this is really not a problem, so then I can use basically IBS, yeah. Although prominence is kind of, you know, until I land an IBS I could have done like a couple of million short strikes or uh, tens of millions, I don't know, depends on the party, yeah. Uh, about passives, um, class features, pardon, uh, it's always rightful termination, I was... Um, I know I told you guys I maybe use two loadouts for the instigator stuff. We're going to feed, so I'll explain why I'm not using it. Uh, Destroyer, of course. Uh, I was playing around with Steel Blitz. That's why I delayed the video a little bit. And test, I was testing instigator. It's not going to work. Uh, so this is what I'm using for now. And this is set up for everything. Uh, I'm just basically switching to IBS and that's it. Not, nothing much to it. Yeah. So uh, those are the powers. Uh, nothing much. If I'm in trouble, I'm using Steel Defense, you guys know that, and I'm soloing stuff, but really rare, rare very rare, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, let's skip to feats, okay, feats, I'm not gonna go through every feat uh, individually, you can pause the video, this is the same as like the last, god knows how long. Now, here's the deal, uh, currently I was using uh, three feats from the Instigator, so Student of the Sword, uh, vicious advantage, which is totally cool, 5% damage and crit chance, and flanking maneuvers. The thing is, flanking maneuvers are totally acting weird. One one run, the, the it's not proccing at all. Uh, it's proccing for 50k, and the next run on, with uh, lightning, it's not proccing at all. Then in the next run with prominence or fate touch, it's proccing for 1 million per tick. It's scaling. Uh, I think it's totally wonky, and I can't use that. It's just... Uh, I already talk to the dev who is in charge and I told him that, and uh, I mean even even though they're activated uh, when you have combat advantage weapon master strike is currently activated in flanking maneuvers uh, when you use it without combat advantage which makes no sense so it's totally broken uh, point being is I switch back to a powerful challenge 50% that I know it's working uh, to damage to mark targets it's, it's constant damage so uh, I can't say really I can't justify using flanking maneuvers and that's it, because they're, I mean, I, one round they're going to scale even boss for 1.5 1, 1. million even, even, and then they're not going to work at all, it's totally uh, messy, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Uh, part of my voice, I have a little cold, so <laughs> there's that. Okay, and the destroyer tree, uh, this is basically the Mark Fu uh, uh, Fury, Relative Battle Fury build with marking, uh, you know, and that's it, like the old build. I like that I have... Prolonged Battle Fury, I don't care about the cooldown, it's not about the cooldown, I know the cooldowns are low, I like to have a longer duration of the Fury so I don't interrupt my rotation in the full full on um, attack, so that's why I'm using it, everything pretty much here is the same, 
Uh, I don't know who asked me. Uh, Mighty Blade is working. Everything is working here and here. Uh, Instigator is not work. It's not done. It's just not done currently. I know this video is going to be watched a um, long, long time. And uh, you know, if they fix it in the meantime, fine by me. But I will test it again. So far, I can't justify using it, and that's it. So uh, these were the feats. Uh, I'm going to leave boons for the last because you guys wanted to see all the boons. We're going to just skim through it. Uh, about the pet, pets, uh, companions. Um, there's new one new item here, which is nice electro necklace. Uh, if you guys did some math, this necklace I'll do anything. So it does have one offense slot. Doesn't matter. Look at the power and crit. It does. It's not even that expensive anymore. So you even even the, the regular one is totally cool. Here it is. See. Yeah, a little bit more stats on plus one, but that's me. Uh, so uh, here's the deal: uh, five pets. Three Archons, Razorwood, and Tiger. Uh, so that's pretty much the same. Sometimes I rotate with the Siege Master or maybe some other stuff, but usually I just run with this. You know, um, it's 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 just constant, and I like to use it. I don't like to mess around too much with it. Um, so it's just you know my my thing of doing it. Like I just want to stress this out. This is my like this works for, works for me. You know. I always say that in the build video because build videos are watched and people, uh, you know, I just advise strongly to, to adjust and test stuff if you have access to a previous server, even better. Um, so, you know. Anyway, uh, two Grey Striker rings, uh, they're, they're working on the pet. Uh, and I kind of mixed the enchantments, so I got Radiant 14, Brutal 14. I got this uh, Heart of Fire, which we got for free, so I kind of used it, why not? 700 power, 350 crit, 350 armor pen, which is totally cool. Um, and of course, um, I got here Radiant Black Eyes. So, you know, it's totally mixed. And these are the stats. Uh, there you can see. Uh, these stats are giving me pretty, pretty decent damage. I could have slotted something else, but this just. I was messing around with the enchants, and this, uh, this is what I'm using now. You know, it's just a margin of. Uh, some more power or more crit or less crit and stuff like that. So uh, this was, these were the pets. Um, like I said, three archons, fire, water, earth, razor wood of course is a must for this build and tiger for now. Uh, that's it. Uh, about the mounts, uh, it's everything is the same. A dominant force, 4,000 power, bats form. Uh, uh, still, it's still the best for me, so uh, I'm still using it. And uh, that's gonna stay that, like that. Uh, insignias. Okay. So, um, Magistrate Patience, Protector's Camaraderie, Assassin's Covenant, Cavalry Warning, and Combat Maneuver. Um, whenever you control an enemy, you gain 5% combat advantage damage for 10 seconds. Works with adds on slam, sometimes with the crescendo on the boss, I think. Um, I'm kind of still goofing around with it, but that's pretty much what you can see. Uh, the insignias are mostly dominant, so I did slot some aggression ones and uh, f to composite some armor pen, so that's not a big deal. Um, usually, I mean, uh, you know, dominance, skill, couple of aggression, dominance, dominance, skill. So that's it. That's it. That's, I'm satisfied with it, so, you know, uh, you know, I don't mess around with insignias a lot, I just mixed everything, so, you know. Uh, what can I say? So uh, that was kind of a quick overview. Um, I mean, we can d debate about the weapons for a long time, but you know, like I said, it's um, it's up to you guys. You know, this is just me. So I, I was actually against it, but I got talked into the getting the plus one. But okay, then later I got the offhand. So I didn't exalt it yet. Uh, so exalted offhand doesn't give too much uh, edge. So, you know, support classes can use non, non plus one weapons. So, you know. Anyway, uh, power feeds boons. We're going to go through the boons now, guys. Um, I'm just going to give a few seconds for every boon so we don't stress this too long. Um, so, here it is Sharandar. I'm not going to go through every boon. Mostly they're offensive, uh, critical strike power, stuff like that, you know. So, uh, you can pause the video and just compare it with your, your own uh, boons, and that's it. Dread Ring. Alright, Icewind Dale. <clears throat> Last time I forgot, <laughs> I think, <clears throat> pardon me, I think I forgot Underdark or something like that. 
or maybe not, I don't know. Underdark. Tyranny of Dragons. <clears throat> Again, mostly offensive wounds, power, crit, armor pen, stuff like that, you know. Maze Engine. Elemental Evil. Storking Thunder. One, two, three. Alright. I think I got covered everything. If not, just hit me up, I'll give you the boons, but you know. Uh, so one of you asked me to go deep inside into the boon. It just yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just uh usually it's just like a, like this, two thousand hit points, some lifesteal, and then I don't know. Um Chris Reverity, I don't know, demoralize, vision of young I mean I can't comment every boon per se, but mostly they're offensive. Uh, jungles of Child, where I can, I could get more power as much as I can, like this, Fallen Falls of Power, some hit points, uh, and Ravenloft, of course, again, uh, Undying Death, uh, versus Undead, there's a lot of Undeads, so yeah, Bloodlust, stuff like that. Okay, uh, I don't have any bones from uh, Acquisition Incorporated, but it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be confidence boost with 1000 power, and I don't know, maybe maybe severe, criti severe criticism, I'm not really sure, okay? Um, that's it. That's it, guys. Uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna, we're gonna check out the stats and stuff like that. Um, about the race and my roles, uh, it's an uh, interesting Dragonborn, Metallic Dragonborn. I bought it for the skin, but, you know, um, you're, you're getting a little bit more hit points, that's it. Just, you know. Uh, the rules on the whoever asked me, I don't know who asked me on, on one of the videos, I lost the comment. <laughs> so uh, the rules are 20 uh, strength with the two points added and uh, 12 charisma, okay? So with the campfire buff plus the points plus the Demogorgon set, you should get to, like I, like I have now, um, 30, 30 strength, 20 charisma. And this whole build basically revolves around 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 uh, charisma and strength mostly around charisma so about combat advantage okay so um i think i covered everything yeah now uh, about the weapon enchant i'm just gonna say that i was goofing around with the lightning switching the lightning getting to then i realized you know i really don't need that that shit and i'm not gonna switch enchants everything's melting like totally 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 fast even when I'm alone and Promise is doing the job, it's still the best enchant for me currently. I hope they're not gonna put new enchant out if we're gonna br get broke, but whatever. Uh, anyway, I think I covered everything. Uh, let me see it one more time. Artifacts, gear. Ah. Alright, let's check out the stats and see how, how the stat looks, stats look like. Maybe some rotation, I don't know. Um, so, alright. Well, Fury, always mark the target. Okay, let's see how much damage I'm getting. I'm kind of moving too much. Alright, here we go. You can see very... just critting, critting, critting. Stacking nice couple of millions. And of course... Uh, Try something really quick. Yeah, hidden dagger should, should hit around, I don't know, 1. Point something million. All right. There you can see, uh, crit is a little bit lower. Usually it's around 36k. I don't know. This is without refaging madness, I think. Um, so yeah. The armor pen you can see uh, is defense is ignored 86%. That's a sweet spot for me, and uh, you can see the damage dealt. So yeah, one more time. Battle Fury, hidden daggers, crescendo. Mark the target, activate the swarm, and kick the shit out of everything. So yeah, I'm really satisfied. Sadly, these weapons are 
they are cutting our runs down, but yeah. guys I like running with uh, daring shot I do miss IVS in a way but you know if you know what I mean it's not a big deal you know you can see hidden daggers 1. Point something million very very nice totally totally overpowered but okay so uh, this is with the swarm uh, I'm really satisfied with my with my with my stats so it can be much higher power wise but uh, I'm, I'm cool with this now currently you know so um that's about it guys that's about it I think I covered everything I probably forgot something but don't mind me I'm trying to optimize this so um, you know anyhow uh, thank you all for the support and and, and um, I really 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 appreciate it guys it's awesome and um, if any questions just shoot me in the comment section below uh, this is pretty much kind of copy from my previous build it's just uh, you know we just got this you know stupid overpowered weapons and well not they're not like overpowered it's just the base damage is really important that's all fine but um, if you know what I mean but I don't know just anyway uh, that's it uh, I probably like I said forgot something but it doesn't really matter um, just shoot me a question in the comment section I will I will reply or send me an email, guys. Text me in game, whatever. And uh, thank you all. Um, maybe I'll have some new material soon. We'll see. So I hope you had a good weekend and a week ahead. Uh, that's it. Unforgiven is out. I'm going to render the video, upload it tonight, and uh, as I promised. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.